everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm Sherelle Roberts. We've got the Let's Talk team, and joining us at the table is Georgetown Police Chief Darren Allgood. Welcome. Yay. Thank you. All for <laughs> so you me. are making Let's Talk Kentucky history. You are the first police chief to join us at the table. That's awesome. It's a big deal. Some might say it's Thank you. all good. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how good it is. <laughs> so, Chief. Tell us, you know, what's kind of the scene when it comes to public safety and law enforcement in general in Georgetown? How are things going? It's going pretty good. Um, it's growing. It's still the fastest growing community yeah. um, in the state. Uh, we're still trying to get people signed up to be police officers and yeah. help us out. Uh, but, you know, generally we have a good, I think, a good read on the crime. Um, implementing a lot of programs and trying to be active in the community, get people to come to us to help us um, solve the crimes and be on top of things. So mm -hmm. I think we're going in the right direction. Yeah, Good. so recruiting right now for police, trying to get more folks to join. Are you actively hiring right now? Yes, we're actively hiring uh, certified officers and non-certified. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we go to colleges, uh, Georgetown mm -hmm. College, Kentucky State, wherever uh, we see a job fair, we try to go and um, get people to sign up to be a police officer. It's not as bad as what people may have heard or seen. <laughs> uh, you know, if you really want to help somebody and have a positive impact on a person's life, uh, then do that. It's something different every day. Um, so I encourage you to do that. And, help us make a positive change. Yeah. It's essentially, yeah. it, it's, it's essential to keep our community safe, mm -hmm. absolutely. So mm -hmm. today you are here to talk about a special program that you guys have called Are You Okay? Yes. Could you tell us about that? Sure. It's a program that we have designed as an outreach program for our elderly, our senior citizens in, um, in our community uh, that may be confined to their residence for whatever reason or they may um, be disabled or mm -hmm. somebody just that would maybe benefit from a phone call from somebody in our uh, department just checking on them make sure they're okay because you know, a lot of time our senior citizens are left behind they've mm -hmm. slipped through the crack because life happens we're busy with our kids and work and everything and we forget about the ones that got us to where we're at. Yeah. You know, yeah that helped us to become adults. So This is an amazing program. I'm going to tear up a little bit because <laughs> it's so important for people to know about this. So what prompted you to implement this new program? Uh, well, we uh, have tried to check, uh, check in with the younger adults. We've been recruiting, as we talked about, uh, trying to get in front of the younger people to show them that police officers are not bad. <laughs> and. We are truly here to help, and then we have our Citizens Police Academy. Uh, that's usually for 18-year-olds um, and above. And you know, it's just glaring out at me. So we're really not doing anything for our senior citizens, and we want to make sure that they're included in as well. Um, you know, if they can't get out, then if there's a need, then you know, we'll check on them and come to them if needed. So. Yeah. So who makes the phone calls from the department? Do you do the officers actually make the phone calls? Our Citizens Police Academy alumni, mm -hmm. uh, they have volunteered to come in, spend their time throughout the day uh, to call and check on anybody that signs up. Gotcha. So if you call in, it may be uh, an officer, but most of the time it will be a mm -hmm. Citizens Police Academy alum starting out. Yeah. You know, sometimes, uh, especially senior folks, they don't get many calls. Mm -hmm. And so it's great just to, to get a phone call from somebody say, hey, how are you doing? Do you need anything? But yeah. what happens if they don't pick up the phone? What happens if you call, you're calling to check in, yeah. they don't pick up the phone? What happens then? Yeah. Okay, we'll, give, we'll call the first time if they don't pick it up. We'll give them about 30 minutes, 45 minutes. We'll contact them back again uh, if we don't receive a you know, a person on the end to talk to us, to tell us they're okay, and then we'll send an officer um, to their address, uh, try to make contact with them. Um, so before we do that, we'll have them, you know, to fill out a little flyer that tells us, you know, hopefully a good phone number. Mm -hmm. If there are any alarms on the house, or there are any big dogs that we should be aware of, mm -hmm. or <laughs> other pets, uh, you know, is their house alarmed, things like that. So just some information we'll have going, going mm -hmm. forward. But mm -hmm. usually about the third time, if we haven't, 
make contact, we'll send someone. Go out yeah. and check, yeah. we'll make That's sure that they're yes. okay. And the mm -hmm. seniors register for this? They, yes. they register for it themselves? They can, or a family member. Can uh, register oh. for yeah. them? anybody can do gotcha. that. So how yeah. do they do That's that? Great. We've got a couple seconds here. Tell us how folks can sign up to get on this list to be called and to be checked on. Sure, you can call our station at 502-863-7826, or you can uh, contact uh, Officer Ryan Hill at georgetownpolice.org. Okay. Great. Chief, thank you so much for being here. And thanks thank for all. this great program. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed it. so many folks get left behind, and thank you for making sure that they don't. That's really, really cool. It's really thank cool you. what you're thank doing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank all right, you everybody, all. stay with us. Coming up after.